Hey, my name is attorney Walter, if not the third, I'm with Disability Resolution PA. We're going to be doing gridding 203.08. What is gridding? Go watch the gridding video. It's a little walkthrough. It's not really complex, but it's pretty straightforward. It's a statute that's like an Excel sheet that if you fit into it, you can be found not disabled or disabled. It's kind of like that. All right. 203.08 age requirement closely approaching retirement age 60 to 64 is the states but obviously it's a little bit higher than that now for the 64 high school graduate or more does not provide for direct entry into skilled work essentially we're talking about somebody who graduated from high school as a ged maybe did a couple of years of college stuff like that they don't provide for direct entry into skilled work so vocational expert analysis during the alj administrative law judge hearing would probably come down to you know no svp five to niners okay Skills or semi-skilled skills, skills transferable. That means that um, somewhere down the line, you do have skilled uh, work in your past, past 15 years of work, your PRW, past relevant work experience. And uh, that means you've got SVP 3, 4, all the way up to 9. And there is right over there, I believe, a bald eagle. And I'm sitting on an island somewhere on one of the little islands around Merritt Island. So I took my boat over. I don't know if you, can, you can't see it from there, but basically we're hanging out on an island today. Okay, finding for 203.08 would be not disabled. So you wouldn't use that one to be found disabled unless you wanted to purposely be found not disabled, which I've never experienced in my entire life. Nobody comes to me and states, hey, I want to be found not disabled. What you're going to be using is either a cow, either a listing, or potentially what most people I think would use would be a residual functional capacity um, vocational allowance, which means you can't do the jobs. Okay. You go through the five-step sequential process, and you know step one, SGA, step two, 12-monther, step three, uh, do you meet equal C to the listing? If not, do an RFC analysis, which is your residual functional capacity, and then step four is can you do your PRW, past relevant work, and then that's work within the past 15 years. Then you go to step five, which is RTSW and uh, unskilled. However, at this age, 60 to 64, step five doesn't really exist for people in that age group, so you get rid of step five, which is that relevant transferable skill work and also unskilled work based uh, you know, analysis. So you wouldn't use this gridding for that. Um, you would use probably a vocational allowance to show that you meet equal or exceed, um, or that you basically can't do the work rather. So that's what I would use. Anyway, my name is attorney Walter if not the third. I'm with Disability Resolution PA in Orlando, Orange County based Social Security Disability Law Firm. If you have any questions for your claim or you want the most up-to-date information, that's fine. Give me a call or shoot me an email and we will go from there. Thanks so much. Bye-bye.